Hey, so let's talk about this. There are some things that you do at work that are hard and draining, right? Um, and yet there are some things that you do at work that energize you even when they're challenging. And why is that the case? You know, how can how can you start doing more of the things that actually energize you? Um, today, I've got three reasons that you must start working in your strengths in order to continue to pour out each day. I'm talking to those of you who are therapists, who are in giving professions like that in private practice. Um, and, and this isn't about just your training. This is about so much more. So how many of you feel like you spend time on activities that are draining to you during the day? Yes, anybody? <laughs> and if you're watching after the live is over, make sure um, as we talk about some of these things, um, you know, make sure you leave your comments, ask your questions. I'll be back to answer those, respond to your comments, um, share some hearts and some likes with me. It helps us engage as a community. And hey, welcome to all of you who are joining me on Instagram. If you are joining me here, you're welcome to stay here, but you are in the cheap seats. So um, because if you want all the written notes from today, I'm going to be sharing those actually over on our Three Life Essentials Facebook page, Three Life Essentials. So join us over there for all the extra stuff, <laughs> okay? Um, but today we're going to be free from frustration, free from feeling drained, free from feeling burnout, free to be energized, free to give back to others, free to be unique. Yes, um, I value that. Free to brand yourself even. And I have a gift for you. Those of you who are joining me over on Facebook, if you would like access to the full written guide for today's Free Friday, um, just give me the word strengths below with an S. So not just strength, but strengths. Um, and I will share those with you. Now, um, actually, I want to show you guys something cool that I just found. And I want to want you to tell me what you think of these. Um, I'm going to give you a couple of options over the next few weeks, but I want you to tell me what you think. I'm going to pull this up here. Okay. Oh, it's kind of hiding it because of the little lower third. That's such a bum. Okay. Okay. That's okay. We'll keep it off for right now. So um, <laughs> now um, this is actually take two of the live because I had a couple of tech issues. So I'm going to go ahead before we dive into um, some of this goodness. And actually I have a bonus um a bonus reason that I decided to go ahead and add in today at the end. So stick with me, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the link here um, where we are live on our Facebook page and share that with the people that were already planning to join us. <laughs> and, um, and I'll share that with them to make sure that they have that. So um, so he say hello. Let me know where you're joining in from. Hi, guys. Um, I see all, my name is Amy Miller and I'm about to introduce myself, um, but introduce yourself here because I see a lot of names here that I don't know what your your actual name is. So um, so say hello. Let me know where you're joining in from. And I'll see if I can grab this link here to share. Um, here it is. And it says it's happening now. Awesome. <laughs> OK. Um, we, we have a love-hate relationship with tech, right? Anybody else feel that way? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to update this link for everybody else who got a notification this morning and um, who are set up for our reminders. Oh, great. Awesome. I'm glad you're joining us here. Hey, Melinda from Phoenix. Hey, we need to chat. I'm actually coming your way soon. Yes. Okay. So, um... Actually, let me just introduce myself really briefly here. I see um, a lot of go ahead here. and oops, let me close this out so you guys aren't hearing me twice. Um, those of you who are, are new here, go ahead and actually 
sprinkle this amongst your people. Don't keep this information to yourself. Um, and in fact, I have those of you on Facebook who do that. I actually have a bonus gift for you for those who choose to do that. So those of you who choose to um, to do that. Um, now, my name is Amy Miller. I'm a wellness advocate. I'm a business coach and I help fellow SLPs and special needs professionals make a bigger impact in the lives of their patients, be able to set their business apart from all the others and provide patients with solutions that actually address issues root issues rather than just putting band-aids on problems. And we do this using our signature spark method via our growth mindset coaching. And this is free Friday. This is our weekly series on Fridays to experience life more fully, more abundantly. And bonus if we can do it naturally as I put some essential oils in my water this morning that I didn't put in there yet. Um, we love to learn out loud here on free Friday. So Use the hashtag free Friday and we'll explain. Um, so whenever you hear like an aha moment, something that new that you want to implement, um, a big takeaway for you um, throughout the live today, even if you're watching on the replay, anytime you hear that something that's valuable to you or a new idea you want to hold on to, type in the, in the comments, hashtag free Friday, and then share that tip that you're going to implement because we love to learn out loud. And I am a lifelong learner and I love to reward those who also love to learn. So, um, so let's take into this problem here because when you take a hard look at um, the work that you do so passionately, there are some things that give you a lot of energy, but there's other things that you can do for a short time. But if you spend too much time on them, they suck the life out of you. Anybody? Yes. Yes. Go ahead and comment below with some of the things that that are like that for you, because it's different for everybody. You may think that that everybody feels the same way you do about time sucking or draining activities, but it's not. It's different for everybody. So I'm curious what it's like for you. Um, there's got to be a way to focus on tasks that give you energy instead of destroying it. And I know um, in a giving profession like you're in, you get it. You chose this profession because you have a passion for helping people. And there's parts of your job that still give you goosebumps, right? But there's other parts that give you indigestion. Yeah, I mean, because burnout is real. And if you want to focus on the things that give you energy and find effective ways to accomplish those tasks that aren't in your sweet spot, then stay with me here. Because I told you I'm going to give you three reasons why you must start working in your strengths. And just so we're clear, it would be pretty easy to give you one more. But we're going to start with three major ones um, and let you use your imagination from there. I, I think I might give you the bonus one at that the end if we have time. So so I want to back up briefly and share. Um, yes. Yay, Melinda, yes. And we're going to be free to give back today um, because we're in a state um, in our country where we need people who are givers, not takers. We want to be giving back to other people generously. And so I want to back up just really briefly here and share what are strengths. So when I'm talking about this, I'm not talking about where are you strong? <laughs> I'm talking about strengths with an S. Um, and when we talk about your strengths, we're not talking about your interests or your personality. Um, and in a culture that focuses on developing or fixing our weaknesses, knowing your strengths invites you to find out where you're strong and what's right about you. And there are unique combinations of talents and knowledge and skills that every person possesses. And you can use those innate traits and abilities in your daily lives to complete your work, to relate with others, to achieve goals. But to be honest, most people don't know what their strengths are or they don't have the opportunity to use them to their advantage. OK, so reason number one that you want to begin to use your strengths if you have not already is because you have superpowers. <laughs> so you should use them. I don't normally like to should on people, but in this case, I want to make an exception because I want you to think for a minute with me. So years ago, now this is going to test your age for those of you who know what I'm talking about here, but 
There was a show called The Greatest American Hero. Anybody with me? The premise with that show, remember, was there was a man and he found a box that aliens left behind. I know. It's crazy concept. And it was a suit inside that gave you superpowers. Okay. And the problem was that they didn't leave behind instructions. So the whole premise behind the store, the show was there's this guy who has this suit that lets him fly and it gives him super strength and um, who knows what other superpowers. I think it made him invisible also, but he didn't know how to use them. And how different would his life have been if he simply had the instructions or he had a coach that could walk him through what to do and how to use the suit, right? And I'm going to tell you, the show would not have been nearly as fun, though. <laughs> Actually, the challenges he would have he was facing honestly could have been easily overcome. Um, but you guys, in the exact same way, you have been wired with some certain superpowers and they are different from other people, very different. And now you may not be able to fly, right? But there's some challenges that simply aren't as a big deal um, for you as they are for most people. And maybe this is flying. Maybe it's just helping people find common ground. Or maybe it's helping find the root cause of problems. Or maybe it's helping influence other people to take action. Maybe it's um, maybe it's how you relate to people and how you empathize with other people. But that's what your strengths are about. Okay, so by the way, here's a cool little stat for you. People who focus on their strengths during the day are three times more likely to report to have an excellent quality of life. Yes. And six times more likely to be engaged at whatever work they do in their jobs, whatever their daily work is. So I want to put I want to hear from you. Put a one in the comments if you remember watching The Greatest American Hero. And two, if you just learned about this amazing TV show today right now. <laughs> Melinda says, I can neither confirm or deny any knowledge of that show. Yes, I know. It's kind of embarrassing if you do know about that show because it was really kind of, I don't know. It, it, I feel like it was kind of bad TV. <laughs> so, um, okay. So let me show you something else here. So reason number two that you want to begin working in your strengths is you want to work in your zone of genius and outsource the rest. Working in your zone of genius and outsource the rest. And here's what I mean about that. Um, you may be like, what do you mean outsource the rest? Um, well, it's human nature that we have a mental list of things that are awful to work on. And I won't even say what they are because they're, it's so universal and nobody likes doing them except for one thing. That's actually not true. In fact, it's actually different for everyone. There is someone out there that loves what you loathe. And as an example, just as an example, um, if you loathe laundry, I promise you there's actually a high school kid somewhere that would actually be thrilled to make $8 an hour to wash your laundry. And while they're washing your laundry, you could be earning the money that you will use to pay them by focusing on your what you love and your actual strengths. Um, and if you could take that hour that they're washing your clothes and spend half of it helping a patient um, or a client, um, then you'd earn more money than you paid out. So not only will you, you'll be giving up the things that drain you, but you may also discover that other people do a far better job completing the tasks that you loathe. Yeah? Is this resonating with anybody? Give me like a hand up emoji if this is resonating with you. Yes? Okay, Melinda. <laughs> Christy is Christy's also admitting that she watched this. Okay, so look at this. Reason number three. Yes, reason number three. Strengths are your largest area for potential growth. Now, I want you to check out this story, study. Um, and I'm going to grab a, a drink of water because my throat's a little dry. So listen to this study here. Um, so Gallup studied readers 
and they divided them into groups based on their aptitude, their ability to read. And the average reading group was reading like 90 words a minute. And then the above average readers were checking in at 350 words a minute, okay? Now, after they walked both groups through a speed reading course, they allowed them some practice and they retested them. The average readers went from 90 words a minute to 150 words a minute. That's like two times the increase in their speed. But I'm curious, what do you think the above average group was able to do? Any thoughts? They actually went from 350 words a minute to 2,900 words a minute. Like, yes, 2,900 words a minute. You heard that right. That means that they increased their speed over eight times their previous score. Now, you're kind of like, maybe like, what does that have to do with me? And what does that have to do with things that I'm good at? Okay, here's what I want you to take away from this. If you're good at something, your time spent working on that particular talent is going to yield a much greater return on your investment than working on something that isn't in your top strengths. And you guys, just like I mentioned at the beginning, we as a society, we have a tendency to think about, let's focus on the areas of your weakness. Let's help shore those up. Let's build those up. And in reality, you need to be working on the things that you're good at and, and increasing those talents into strengths. So, for example, if you are a really poor administrator, but maybe you have great communication skills and you love speaking in front of large groups, you're going to want to think about spending more time investing in the art and the skill of speaking. Spending your time on areas of administration may increase your knowledge and they might increase your ability in that area, but your growth in that area is never going to compare to the growth that you have in that area of strength. So, um, so tell me, what are the tasks that you are currently doing that just drain you? They suck the life out of you. Okay, Melinda, you just said, whoa. So I think that's probably a hashtag free Friday. So tell us below, what was your takeaway? What's your big takeaway, your aha moment there that you're going to implement with that? Okay, so the last reason I'm going to get to, and I'm just going to, I told you I was going to give you three, but I think I decided I'm going to go ahead and give you this bonus one because um, I think this is going to be really beneficial for you. Um, and that is, actually, let me type it in here because I it's extra. <laughs> I didn't plan on sharing this. Okay. Because you can brand yourself. You can be known for your strengths. Okay, we all know somebody that when we think of them, it brings up like a mental image of the one thing that real, they're really good at, right? For some people, it's their ability to communicate. For other people, it's their ability to solve problems. Um, and I will tell you, when I was practicing as a speech pathologist, um, I was known by my colleagues as the resource queen, the research queen. People knew that they could come to me for resources. Um, and I didn't realize at the time, I didn't know that, that, I, that that was actually a strength for me um, because it was energizing to me. It didn't feel like a challenge. I didn't know that it was a challenge for other people. And so the point is that you shouldn't, um, it's not that you should be like them. The point is that you should be like you and not just you, but your best you. And that's when you become known by clients and patients and um, in your community as being the best in your area of expertise. And that's when your practice can move to another level of service and demand. And why you may not have known, what, what you may not have known is that you're seeing these people work in their strengths, but it's not enough to just know your strengths. For me personally, I actually knew what my specific strengths were um, for two years and it didn't do me any good. It wasn't until I actually worked with a business coach who was able to help me begin to see how to use them in my daily work and even in my life and even in my parenting so that I could actually truly benefit from them. And 
to be honest, other people would be benefiting from them too. But there, and there were several keys in this process, but it made a huge difference in the way that I even schedule my day now. Um, so let's do, here's a do, just a little speedy recap for you. There's three reasons that you must start working in your strengths. Number one, you have superpowers and you should use them. <laughs> Number two, you want to work in your zone of genius and outsource the rest, okay? Number three, your strengths are your largest area for potential growth. And bonus, you can actually become known for your strengths. You can brand yourself. Now, before I leave here, I, I have a free Facebook group for therapists um, in all disciplines of private practice. Um, it's brand new um, where you can collaborate, you can support each other during all of these shifts happening in, in our lives and in our, in our work. Um, and if you'd like access to that group, just let me know below and I'll make sure you get that. Our next live wellness masterclass is gonna be coming up in July. We were originally gonna be doing it today, but I decided we're gonna, we're gonna push that forward and, and focus on some areas that I think be really beneficial to those of you watching so but um thank you guys so much for joining i'm going to be back here next friday and i hope you're able to join the, me in that and linda you said you're working on increasing your strengths i love that um i love that thank you guys so much for joining me today and i look forward to seeing you guys back here tomorrow uh next week <laughs> bye everybody <laughs>